So a couple of weeks ago, it hit me. My son is a senior. I'm about to be an only nester. It hit me all of a sudden. And all the thoughts of a parent came to me. Is he smart? Is he going to be able to handle this? Did I do this right? I only got one year before he's gone. Did I do this right? He's smart, articulate, handsome, tall, straight A's, but not very bright. Not very bright at all. And any parent in here understands if you haven't looked at your kid and said, you're just not that smart, <laughs> then you won't know love. You don't know real love. And that's what happened in that moment. So I decided one thing we're not going to be is a stereotype. So most things that we're not good at, me and him are going to go conquer together. First thing on the menu, horseback riding. Me and him, <laughs> we're going horseback riding. So we get out there, I got this whole thing thought out. I've been watching Bonanza and everything. Like, I am ready, okay? I've thought this out. This is a life goal. I've been raising him all these years. I don't want to mess this up. So Bonanza, the Lone Ranger, that's what I gave you, okay? Now, we get out there. As we get out there, I realize something for myself as a parent. I didn't say it out loud, but I've never been around horses. Like, I've seen them on the side of the road, but I've never been up close and personal with a horse. So as I'm walking up to the stable, the first thing I smell is the horses. I didn't anticipate this. <laughs> I didn't anticipate the smell, okay? So we're getting close, oh, I don't like this, but I'm, I'm having to be proud, okay? I'm having to be proud, why? I was in the military, I got the reputation with my family, I'm supposed to be the alpha male, yeah, but in my mind, it stinks, <laughs> okay? So we're getting closer. Now, I'm an accountant for a living. It's what I do, calculate. As I'm walking up, I see a group of women, beautiful women, some reason, they're all my age. Shit is a little scary. Don't know if I can cuss. So, <laughs> so I'm walking up, I'm like, oh, everybody's my age. Now I really gotta be on my A game, right? So I walk up, okay, cool, everybody's cool. I start counting the horses. Okay, 22 horses. 20 people. Oh, I got it. I walk up to the front of the line. Hey, let me help you on the horse. Come on, girl, let me help you on the horse. Hey, man, how you doing? Let me help you on the horse. Let's get on the horse. Hey, how you doing? So we get all the horses. They say, oh, man, we ran out of horses. We don't have enough. You're going to have to wait till later. I'm like, man, we'll see, because my son's about to go. We're going to probably leave after that. They start whispering. They walk off, they come back, and they say, hey, is Betsy broke? Now, I don't know what broke means. I thought that meant he didn't have no money in his pocket. She said, is Betsy broke? He said, yeah, Betsy's broke. Go get Betsy. They walk off. Now, these horses that they were putting on the girls and stuff when they were coming up, I thought these were grown man horses. No. This horse that came around the corner, quote, unquote, Betsy, Betsy walks around the corner, and she's swole. Like, she's been lifting bow flex. Like, Ugh. she been getting it. Like, I'm scared, but I can't play it off. I'm not lying. I was like, I, I wanted to leave, but everybody's looking at me. All of the girls at this moment are like, oh my God, look at the horse. All attention is on me. I'm scared. So I walk up, I get on it. I'm a combat veteran. I'm not worried about this. I could do this. All right, so the guy's at the front. He's giving his instructions. All the girls are rubbing on me. Now, I knew something was wrong between me and Betsy. The energy was a little off. The reason why, because Betsy was like, oh, I don't know what that meant. That wasn't a part of the instructions. So we start riding. We're going. And we're moving at a little slow pace. And it's cool. I got it. I get a little comfortable. One of the ranchers says, hey, I'm going to head back for blah, blah, blah. I didn't understand what he said because he spoke banjo. Do y'all know what I mean? He was hitting me with that banjo. I didn't know what he was saying. So I was like, okay, he's going back. He started going this way. Well, my horse started going too. Well, I, I thought it was like a Tesla. It was an autopilot or something. So it started moving. And all of a sudden, I heard her say, don't go. And my horse said, uh, we're gone. Oh, wait a minute. The group's behind me. Woo. So I don't know what to do because nobody told me that you bounce. And I was a little worried. So I was like, oh, my God. So each bounce, I'm like, oh, my God. This is really happening. So I'm getting scared. And I'm like, they see me. They see me. I turn and I look. And I see that rancher guy flying towards me. It panics me even more. So I'm like, oh, my God. Bonanza hits me. The Lone Ranger hits me. I say, wait a minute, what did he do? He 
took and he kicks the horse when he wants him to stop. I was like, there you go, kick the horse. I said, bam, the horse who I thought was in top gear now is in top gear and we are flying. And I have a hold, I didn't let that little, the little leash, I didn't let that go, he ain't listening. So I got his hair. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm starting to see, whoa, I'm like, yo, 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 because I thought that's what the Long Ranger said, yo, that ain't what he's saying, folks, so I'm right, I don't know what to do, we start going off the hill, I just jump off, boom, <laughs> now, this, that wasn't the worst part, is when I walk back over that hill, my son was standing there staring at me and his look of disappointment in his eye. He was like, Dad, you ain't never done this before, have you? No, son, I have not done this before. And I think I just failed the stereotype test. <laughs> Please escort me to the car. Thank you, guys.